Megumi and I visit the small harbor at Sumiyoshi on the coast of the Ariaki Sea three or four times a year. The main attraction is the many Mutsugoro or mud skippers that live on the mud beds inside the harbor. There's also an abundance of waders like grey heron, white egrets, and sometimes even spoonbills. Usually we sit on the steps at the harbour side and take pictures or videos of the activities of the mud skippers. Today we were hoping to capture views of Sumiyoshi Harbour and the mud skippers that we had never been able to capture before. Today we had brought along our new pet, the Parrot Anafi drone. With the drone we planned to go out over the mud flats and see the mud skippers and the harbour from a completely new perspective. As far as the bird life was concerned, today was not a good day. The heron are only here in numbers when they are nesting in the springtime. But on our first flight, downstream over the mud, we did catch sight of a large heron stalking around. Unfortunately, we had to shoot this against the light, but as it was our first flight at Sumiyoshi Harbour, we have decided to include it in the video. Next, we decided to ascend to a viewpoint high above the harbour to take a look at the boats and the mud in general. As we panned around, we saw, in the distance, the small rocky island known as Tobacco Island, and decided to round off this video by flying out later to take a closer look at it. But for now, it was time to descend and see if there were any mud skippers present on the mud. At first it seemed to be pretty empty, but then we noticed that on the mud close to the riverside there were groups of young mud skippers moving around like herds of antelope on the Serengeti plain. As the sun was lighting the mud skippers perfectly, I decided to get out our video camera and try the slow motion function for the first time, capturing some unusual shots of adult male mud skippers as they moved around, trying to scare rivals away from their territory.
Finally, before leaving for home, we drove around to the other side of the harbour, and after making myself comfortable, I took off again and flew the Anafi in the direction of Tobacco Island. We were a little apprehensive about flying our pet over the mud flats of the Ariaki Sea, wondering what would happen if it crashed out there. As the drone approached the island, the many cormorants, which used the island as a resting place, took off and circled around. then it was time to set course back to base. At this point, we both decided we had had a good morning shooting and headed back to Kumamoto. <laughs> 